That was a scene from the upcoming documentary, Freedom Summer, premiering on PBS June 24th. The person in that scene is Bob Moses, then just 29 years old, and leader of the 1964 Freedom Summer campaign. In the 50 years since Moses has continued his civil rights work, and I am honored to welcome Bob Moses to the show. Also with us is Judith Brown Dianis, co-director of the Advancement Project. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Yeah. I want to ask you about models of leadership that move from the bottom up. Mm. The idea of king-based leadership, I think, is often how we think of what the civil rights movement is, the big speeches on the big stages. Right, right. Talk to me about what you learned in the context of organizing for Freedom Summer about bottom-up. Yeah. So really, um, the person who first demonstrated that was Ella. So Ella, Ella Baker, Baker, yeah. So what she did was um, provide a space for the student sit-in leaders, um, and uh, she helped them uh, become the people who owned their movement, right? Mm -hmm. So what was happening, um, remember there was the NACP, SCLC, and CORE. Mm -hmm. So those um, organizations were, would have preferred a youth wing of mm -hmm. an adult organization. But Ella really held off Wilkins, King, and Pharma, right, um, and insisted that the students uh, had the right to make their own mistakes, so to speak. And that's pretty formidable, the idea of Baker holding off. I mean, the, the names that you, that you give there are folks who helped to change the country. Right. And yet, the idea that she holds them off to develop a different model of leadership. Right, exactly. It was really crucial. And um, we learned something about what it meant to be an organizer through that. Namely, that part of the work of organizing was that you create a space for leadership to emerge, a space for something to emerge that you are not going to be the leader of, right? Mm -hmm. So we took that idea into Mississippi. The, the big example of that, of course, is the Freedom Democratic Party and Fannie Lou Hamer. Talk to me about when you say that you're going to create something that you will